Now I, I have a talk with Mr. Nanasta from Senegal and with Ursel from Germany. <laughs> um, you can speak about your projects, about your company and about the things you have in your heart and, and Ursel too. We start with our guest from Senegal and now it's your stage. Please tell us something about your person and the things you do. So I'm Jimmy Nanasta from Senegal. I work uh, with uh, ENDA, which is uh, an NGO uh, working in environment and renewable energy and development. So we work uh, for uh, many years. Uh, ENDA Energy has been set up uh, since 1982, so it's a long <laughs> time ago. So working mostly on the nexus between environment, development, and energy. How you use energy for the people, um, but to uh, be uh, to promote development and also to protect environment. So that's what we are doing, and uh, we kind of uh, have many uh, projects on the ground where we work on uh, and currently I'm working on a project um, called uh, accelerating the implementation of uh, uh, regional uh, policies in uh, West Africa which involves uh, an, a number of countries, seven countries in, in, in total and uh, I'm the regional coordinator of uh, this uh, project with uh, some uh, national coordinators also. So we, uh, it's um, an advocacy uh, project where we try to promote renewable energy and uh, push uh, local people to adopt renewable energy and also to know about the policies that are being decided by the government uh, so that they get uh, some ownership of these policies so as to be able to implement them uh, better on, on the ground. Cool. So, yes. cool. Be be before I, c I come to a, um, uh, example, a good example, maybe a new example of your thing, what you do, I go to Ozil and ask Ozil if she wants to tell something about her practice. Yes, uh, I'm coming from Hamburg and um, as my colleague I'm working in a, a um, I'm working in a factory or a little uh, company. company yes. you. <laughs> uh, we are um, making solar energy and uh, I like his CEO very much because I met him uh, several years ago in a COP conference. Um, so it's nice to know when uh, we have uh, everywhere little partners who make their job in climate effort. Cool. And um, yes, um, I'm very pleased that I am again in the COP and I have a question uh, to my partner. Uh, what is the benefit for you to be in the network uh, of uh, the Infosec? Well, the, the, to be in, in the network, the Infose uh, network, you know, um, ENDA has been one of the organizations that has been involved in the setting up or in the creation of even Infose. So there was a need for such a network because there was no network like on uh, sustainable energy uh, before. Rio uh, uh, meeting. So we, with uh, other organizations, uh, sat down to uh, create this. Uh, I mean, it's not me, but the organization and the representatives of uh, my organization setting, sitting down to create this uh, network because we see that it is important for people working in the same area to come together in order to join efforts, in order to uh, defend or promote uh, renewable energy. So um, the, this, 
for me, being in, in Enda and being responsible for uh, the network, the, the benefits, you have information that you share among uh, colleagues, among members, and you also uh, have the opportunity to work with other colleagues in other countries, like uh, um, working with, uh, with her, and, and we, sh we share experience. It's cool. And, you know, sometimes um, there are some equipments that, uh, in, in terms of innovation, that a member uh, can, yeah. can be innovative uh, or create a, a, a technology yes. that he, he could share among uh, the, the okay. others. So it's uh, all, you know, all this uh, is very interesting for uh, all the members like me and like me. Cool. Mr. Yeah. Nanasa, that's a very good example maybe for um, um, company owners in Germany and Hamburg that say go in the NGO, go maybe to EcoAct or go in other NGOs because it's possible to have a network worldwide and to work uh, together and to make not the same mistakes like other companies and other people. And this is what I like uh, when I think about Inforce. And you are a very good example, um, and you too also. Uh, you know each other, or you know, you know the CEO, and it works, I think. Um, Inforce, um, we, we have the email address and we have the internet site. Behind you, uh, Mr. Nanasta, there's a sign of Ender. Yes. Yes, please go one uh, there. I'm mm -hmm. on look. That's here for the people in Hamburg. They can see all what they must know if they want to have some information. And I think maybe it's possible to contact you when some guys from Germany want to go to Africa yeah. and want to help yeah. and want to make practice maybe want to spend money for, for a good project yes. and I will give them your contact dates. Is this okay? Yes, that's okay. <laughs> they are very welcome. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. I have a last word. Okay. I thank you very much with your little NGO or with your big NGO meanwhile that you founded Inforce and so that every NGO all over the world can uh, jump under the roof of this network. Thank you so much. Come on, shake hands between the video and Okay, fine, nice. Yes. Thank you very much both for the interview.